talking dirty to me like that. Oh, Range fans, you in for a treat today. A short one, and I don't mean the video. Range fans, check it out. That's right, a legal SBR. Yes, I got that expensive tax stamp from our U.S. government to legally own this thing. It is a 10-inch, 300 blackout setup. I'm just going to tell you a little something about this particular setup. Then we're going to put some rounds down range on chronograph and on target. Hopefully not on the chronograph. But I've got some HSM 130 grain spear varmint blackout loads. Man, guess what? I had some these exact same freedom pills on the reloading bench. So I took out some 300 MP, that's right. You don't see much of this loaded in 300 blackout. Spear does have some load data for it now. And I use that load data to generate my own duplicates of HSM. We're gonna see how close I got to duplicating this round on the bench because we're gonna shoot five HSM on target across the chronograph. Then we're gonna shoot five of my own hand loads all these are Sig Sauer brass that I have annealed on that old ugly girl, the ugly annealer. That's right, you can see the short over here. Matter of fact, let's roll something in right now. But anyways, yes, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take five of these, HSM, put them across the chronograph on target. Five of my own hand loads, see how close it is, see what kind of velocity we get out of a 10 inch barrel that's got a one to six primary arms, ACSS reticle, 300 blackout scope sitting on top. I've got a traditional military trigger in this thing. Um, I'll tell you about it more in the up and coming videos of why I did that. Uh, what else has this thing got on it? Oh, hand stop up front for close action, up close work. That's really what it's for, folks. Let's put some rounds on target, down range. Here we go. Folks, I promise, I promise you, we're gonna give you a full review of this thing, not only over at dayattherange.com, but also on video. But for now, this thing's been in jail for 14 months. 14 months, it took that long. To me, that's just ridiculous. And boy, the current administration ought to be embarrassed, but this is not a political channel. Anyways, let's get these chronograph readings and see where we hit on target with HSM Spear 130 grain. By the way, you know what? I need a little help, okay? The help is I put these hand guards on here and uh, they're a little too long. They make it look menacing, right? Oh yeah, but the flash suppressor, when it comes off, my SIG 7.62 suppressor is a little too big for the hand guards. Are there some shorter ones out there, folks, that I could use? Tell me. All right, let's put this thing on target. Let's get some readings. Oh, uh, let's not shoot the old chronograph. Let's see where this thing is aiming at. Oh, uh, it's dead center. Okay, all right. <laughs> Here we go. Off safe. Seemed like it shot a little low. Man, this thing is loud. Even with my plugs in. Cycles though, that's the first shot. You guys enjoyed it with me here. First shot, SBR. Two thousand one hundred forty. Two thousand one hundred forty seven. Two thousand one hundred fifty. 
Ooh, hoo, hoo. Let's look at these results. Ooh, the spread 113, standard deviation 43. The average is 2126. You know what, folks? <laughs> We're going to go right back with my hand loads. 300 black, 130 grain. MRG, Mr. Revolver Guy loads. All right. 130. We're going to save that. That way we can show all this to you. We can show all of this to you over on Day at the Range. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a mess today, folks, all over the place. Just so excited to have my SBR out of jail. Man, I tell you. I mean, looks like a real post office stamp, too. One of the most expensive ones I've ever seen. Let's get the old phone propped back up. Yeah. Five rounds on the same target for a military trigger. I don't think that was all too bad. Here we go. This thing barks, man. Two thousand one hundred sixty. Two thousand one hundred fifty-seven. Two thousand one hundred forty-seven. Ooh, that ain't too bad. Let's take a look, folks. Did the hand loads do any better? At least by the numbers. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The spread is 59. Standard deviation, 19. With an average of 2155. What'd you think? I think I duplicated those suckers. That's factory right there. I think both of them could stand for factory. On a groundhog, I think even on a pig, oinky, oinky hog. That ain't too bad. Seems to be shooting right. Hey, you know what? I didn't intend to do that, but let's get out the long barrel, 16 inch barrel, 300 blackout, shoot it at one of the other targets and see if the velocity changes much. Let's see. Man, this wind today is awful. Can you guys see those flags back there? Wow, it is just, oh, they said high of 30 miles per hour. Could that be why the SBR was shooting a little right? Tell me what you think. Will the wind push 130 grain pill? Out of an SBR, 300 blackout, that much at 50 yards? I don't know. I did put a couple of rounds on target from the 16-inch barrel this time to make sure I wasn't going to shoot the old chronograph and that it would read. But five shots, HSM, 130 grain, spear varmint. Make sure these things are in tight. This thing's little brother was barking. Notice also... For some reason, I know, not all that expensive, but that's okay. Sight mark, one to four. I see better without those readers on, on this one. Don't know why. Here we go. Two 
2263. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Push my old charger handle out. Could that be a sign of pressure? Let me get that brass and take a look. But you know what? Before we get that brass, let me tell you what the 16 inch did with the HSM. All right. Full summary. And wow. Standard deviation and the spread on these things aren't good, HSM. Spread, 109. Standard deviation, 38. Uh, average, 2,261 200, 2, feet per second. Know what we're going to do? Hey, we're going to check out some of my own loads in this. You know what? Let's go ahead and get them going. Again, SIG Sour Brass. I mean, I tried to duplicate it to a point, you know, you never get the factory powder, but it's 300 MMP, 300 dash MP from Alliant powder on this thing. You can go over to dayattherange.com and see that, by the way. All right, we got five rounds loaded up. <laughs> we got the chronograph recording. Let's see. Where will these go? Two thousand three hundred seventy-two. Two thousand three hundred ninety-three. Oh, one ragged hole from all of them. I got to look in to see why this charger handle is not staying locked in the position. That's interesting. I think I know what's going on there. But anyways, let's take a look. What did the sixteen-inch barrel do? By the way, to see the full summary, you know where to go. Dayattherange.com. All right. The spread, oh, all my hand loads weren't too great. Yeah, the spread is 122, standard deviation, 45, and the average is 2,356 feet per second. So there you have it. From a 10-inch to a 16-inch barrel, what? We picked up about 250 feet per second. Folks, there's going to be more to come. With 300 blackout and that SBR, we just got out of jail. I hope you enjoyed this. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. My old buddy Charlie, he's a data gathering fool. And a lot of these videos are just to keep him going and pique his interest. Be good, buddy. Take care of yourself. Mr. Revolver Guy, I'm going home.